Hey guys, it's a video on the foot lock for a rope climb and a drill specifically to practice that. So, what you see is that I'm not talk about, even gonna talk about where the, the rope goes around your legs or anything, or like I'm not gonna show you a rope climb, but I want you to think about just the foot lock, so I'm gonna keep uh, make things simple. So what you'll see is that most people will do either this kind of foot lock, in which you're stepping like this, sorry, like this on top of the rope, right? Like one foot on top of the other, there. Uh, or some people will go around and then step on top of it, like this. Uh, right, so I'm stepping on top of the rope. Uh, both are very intuitive for you, both your brain and your and your and your muscles. The problem with this is as soon as you start pushing down, both feet are going in the same direction. So instead of going this way, they're going both down. So it's not you're not squeezing the rope really. Uh, and you're also not it's also not gonna allow you to bring the knees very high. Uh, eh, and so you're gonna have to that's why you end up doing like four or five legs and you'll see that people just keep doing that. When you're doing a rope climb it's very hard to work on technique because your life is on the line and even if you're not consciously scared, your body is consciously scared as it should because your body is not as stupid as you are. And so, if you follow you that, that's what your body is thinking. You might not, but you will hurt yourself. And so, it's not the moment to think. The moment to think and master the technique is when you're safe and your heart rate is low. So this really is about that. So this is, there is definitely millions of techniques on the rope climb. This is the one that I like uh, in general uh, to start. And so, what I'm going to start is my feet are crossed like this. My dominant foot is on front, right? And then the rope goes right in between my legs. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this sheet. So I'm going to use my, my dominant leg to uh, pull the rope a little bit to the side. And then I'm going to have my feet parallel, right? You see that my feet are parallel. And I'm stepping with the other foot on top of my toes, but not on top of the rope. The rope is going in between my legs in between my feet there and I'm just stepping there so that I can do this motion right because if I am doing which I'm showing you from this way boom if I'm doing that I'm squeezing the 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 feet you'll see that my knees are out I'm doing external rotation just like you would do on a squat which means I'm squeezing the rope and I'm gonna be able to squat really hard that is all and so if you look at it again I'm gonna do it from the side so that you can do, see the feet I'm here Dominant foot in front, X, the cross, the rope crosses, I'm gonna go around and feet are parallel and I can woo, hold it there, right? So, uh, let me see if I can give you a good angle there, but I should be able to see it there, right? So, the rope goes right in between the legs. As you see, I'm not standing on the rope at all. It's right in between. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you are. I just have an assistance for the camera. And is my one toe. This is my toes here, and this is my heels. And the rope goes right here, right? So I'm here. I'm doing this, right? Instead of doing the the thing in which I come and do this. Right, on top of it. Ah, uh, that is it. Give it a try.